staggering success. Vladimir Trechikov, a self-taught artist who never had an art lesson in his life, was already a professional artist by the age of 13 and a survivor. Having fled to China with his parents during the Russian Revolution when he was just four, he was orphaned at 11. And although hardship dogged his youth, he had a dream of someday exhibiting his art in the West. He was to succeed far beyond his wildest dreams and gain great fame and fortune, but in the face of enormous controversy and criticism. I admire how he's achieved what he has with no help from anybody, with, with in fact everything against him. I'm a great admirer of his work. Um, it, I don't know, it sort of like speaks to me more than a Picasso would, you know. A uh, super artist. Um, his realism uh, is excellent. The quality and strength of his work were, was, was dramatic. He has had, I think, matchless success as an artist. Dominant, he's, uh, he really is. You, you, you can either, you either love him or hate him. You can't be indifferent to Trichy. He's largely been ignored by South African art world as being this kind of kitsch, non-entity. Tretikov's early years were spent working in Shanghai, and then he moved to Singapore. These were eventful years. He held his first exhibition at the age of 20, ran his own art school, married, and later his daughter Mimi was born. So my daughter was born there, and we had fabulous times here there. He worked as a commercial artist. On the eve of the Second World War, he was employed by the British Ministry of Information as a propaganda artist. His wife and child were evacuated, address unknown. He was later imprisoned in Java and reported missing, presumed dead. After his release from prison, he was without possessions or family. Art materials were in short supply, but a Dutch artist, who had vowed never to paint while the Japanese occupied Java, made canvas, brushes and paint available to Trechikov. Wartime was restrictive, with little entertainment, gatherings with friends limited, and visits curtailed by a 10 o'clock curfew, he was able to concentrate entirely on his art. Some of his finest works were created during this period. I was able to paint and it. A Eurasian woman was most impressed by his talent and agreed to pose for him. A very special relationship developed. He called her Lenka. <laughs> 